remember folks there comes a point in time when you just have to push yourself on and I have reached that point I can keep praying for more time with this thing uh, unproblematic days <laughs> but at some point I just I have to take responsibility and actually fix it or at least try to determine what's wrong with it so that's the point I'm at today and I'm forcing myself to come out here I'm just not going to trust it anymore um, as far as what's happening it, it seems more of a controller problem like I, I said that and it's probably both I know there's an issue with the motor I don't question that but the hyperspeed the lack of top end speed going downhill the error codes just basic inconsistencies kind of point to the controller um, the other day I thought the motor finally went and then I went out yesterday it's still working <laughs> I'm confused so my goal today is to change the controller I don't really want to use the new controller because reverse is not good on it the way it's set up reverse is really slow and powerless if I had a programmer I don't I, I have no way of hooking computer up to it to program it anyway so I guess I'm just gonna be stuck with it and if I'm going to be driving in snow, i got to make sure I don't get into a situation where I'm going to need power to back up. So, other than that, it should work. Uh, if I remember correctly, the speed was the same in forward speed. So there's no issue there. Nothing else really seemed to be different. The only difference seemed to be backing up was slow and powerless. But that's kind of what I'm experiencing right now anyway. So... <laughs> I've been putting this off because I wanted to make the new straps for the seat. That hasn't happened yet. I'm thinking the reason that hasn't happened yet is because I have rivets. So once I get the strap to the length that I need, I fold it over and then I'll put the rivets through. I gotta punch the holes first and I've had experience punching holes in nylon webbing it doesn't go well I'm not a hundred percent sure how strong the rivets are that's what's been preventing me from doing it so because I haven't done that I haven't done anything else because that was kind of the first step <laughs> so today I'm just going to use my ratchet straps Either way, I'm not trusting the monster until I get this done, so I have to do it. So, it's gotta be done. So, that's my job for today. Change the controller.
this one guys upon first inspection we have melting we have overheating so that will explain the error code 7 to start with so <laughs> So immediately, I know I have to replace that plug again. Ow! That hurt. Step one. <laughs> I'd like to have got more of the thermal paste, but I just didn't have the money I do now, but I can't wait for it, so... <laughs> We can see what happens. Uh, I'm not sure if the I'm not sure if the computer store is open today or not. If it is, I'll stop in and see if I can get me a plug. Another. If it's not, I'm gonna have to wait till Monday. For some reason, I'm getting error code 9 here. I know why. Uh, monsters in manual mode. Why do I keep forgetting that? If you notice there, it wasn't stuck, it wasn't jammed. Uh, I have not used this yet today. I have not tried to move it. The only thing I've done, actually...
That doesn't qualify. I put it in manual mode so I could push it back to get the seat off. <coughs> when I do that, it disconnects the brake from the motor, so it will spin the motor, okay. But either way, when I started here, the motor was not seized up. So is it possibly the controller?